In this course, we are going to use the Truffle Testing Framework to test our smart contracts. Under the hood, the Truffle Testing Framework uses a JavaScript library called Mocha. Mocha is a very popular testing library for JavaScript application. But thanks to Truffle, you can also use it to test your Solidity smart contract. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to this library. This video is part of a full course on smart contract testing on Eat the Blocks Pro. In this course, I'll teach you how to use the test-driven development approach to develop your smart contract with the Truffle framework. If you want to have access to the source code of the free episode, go to the website of Edoblocks Pro and create a free account by clicking on Sign Up. Mocha is a test runner. A test runner is a command line tool that allows you to run tests. When you run a test runner, it does three things. First, it collects all your tests which means that it will make a list of all the tests that need to be run in your project. Then it runs your test. Finally, it gives you a testing report. In this report, you will find a detailed breakdown of which test passed and which test failed. If you don't find any test that failed, you can just continue to work on the next feature. Otherwise, you need to fix the test that failed before continuing. Generally, it's a good practice to run your test with a task runner every time you make a change in your code. With Truffle, you won't really have to configure Mocha yourself, but it's good to know that it exists in case you want to customize the behavior of Truffle test or you need to fix something. If you want to know more about Mocha, you can find the official documentation here. That's it for the introduction to Mocha. In the next video, I'm going to introduce you to Chai, which is another testing library for JavaScript that we can also use in our test for Solidity Smart Contract.